Personally, I am a fan of a good plan. I enjoy the benefits of good organization and the benefits it brings to others. As we've seen in the book of Numbers, order, detail, structure, a good sense of organization are of value to God. One author, in fact, said this of Numbers chapter 4, that the sense of order and organization already observed in this book comes to its finest point in this chapter. See, throughout this chapter, we see the detail, the order, even the specific roles, functions, and objectives that God gives to different families and clans who were serving in the tabernacle. Now, I find it interesting that in verse 49, well, let's look at what it says. When their names were recorded, as the Lord had commanded through Moses, each man was assigned to his task and told what to carry. See, each person had an assigned task and was told what to carry. I like what Charles Spurgeon wrote concerning this. He said, it's worthy of note that these Levites, although they were all equally consecrated to God, had not all exactly the same work to perform. God is not the God of uniformity. He, there is wondrous unity of plan and design in all that he does, but there is also equally marvelous variety. What I love about this is the simple reality that we're all uniquely designed for a specific work. Perhaps you've heard this statement that the two most important days in a person's life are the day that they're born, and secondly, the day they discover why. To discover how God has gifted and called you to serve him, see, that's the first step. And then to begin the journey of life in discerning, developing, and deploying the gifts and talents he's uniquely given to you for the good of others and for the glory of God, that's the purpose of your life and mine. See, just as these Levites each had unique roles to play, know that God has gifted and called you uniquely. And as you go through life discovering how God has wired and gifted you, let me encourage you to live your life well by developing and deploying those gifts and talents for God's glory and for the good of others.